Uh, yeah, I mean, he's he was aggressive. Um, you know, I, I love to see him shooting the threes with confidence. Um, you know, I do think there was a little bit of a message being sent to everybody. Um, our big guys are pretty good. Uh, between him and J.A., the job that they did tonight, uh, I think they stepped up. Uh, they wanted to prove a point as well. I don't know. <laughs> What impressed you most about just the way you guys executed the game plan, you know, from the, the paint points advantage to just how you guys played it I, I think we did a, a great job just trying to continue to build on uh, what's important to us and what we value. Um, you know, I thought we did a great job of attacking the paint. We did a great job of creating open shots for each other. Uh, they all didn't go, but we just played basketball the right way. Um, you know, we competed our tails off, played together, played selfless basketball um, as Cavs hoops. 31 assists, I think. Uh, 31 assists, 10. Uh, 31 assists, 10 turnovers. Can you talk about how efficient you guys were? Yeah, I mean, we again, that that's what we want to do. Um, I know it sounds simple, um, but we just want to throw the ball to the open man <laughs> as much as we possibly can. And if you throw the ball to the open man with this team, uh, it's going to end up in the hands of somebody who's really good at basketball. So, uh, you know, if you throw it early, uh, you don't get in crowds, you know, you don't put yourself in position to turn the ball over. And for us, if we have the opportunity, you know, to set our defense, you know, we know how good we can be. So uh, value on the ball, uh, sharing the ball is extremely important to us. It was a dirty ass play. Um, you know, the kid was upset um, at a play that happened before, and he retaliated, which was bullshit on his part. Um, and Donovan, you know, did what Donovan does. He stood up for himself. Um, you know, I think it's, you know, I understand the rule, but if a guy takes a cheap shot on you, uh, again, you should be able to protect yourself. Um, but that was a dirty ass play. Was it part of the game plan to get Evan? Uh, I mean, again, we just want to throw the ball to the guy that's open. Uh, so we don't go into a game saying, you know, this guy has to do this, this guy has to do that. But what this group does is a great job of realizing uh, who's got it going and how they can feature them. And I thought that's what uh, unselfish basketball looks like, is like you got it going, a guy's got it. Like, let's do whatever we can to hunt and get that guy opportunities because, you know, he's rolling. And I think, um, you know, that's what happened tonight. Debbie, what signs are you looking for that tell you that Evan's getting back to his old self? Uh, tonight was a was a good one. Um, you know, again, it's just how he's moving. Um, you know, how he's participating in what we're doing on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, his ability tonight to shoot the three with confidence. Um, you know, attack the rim, make the mid range. Like there wasn't much that he wasn't um, able to do tonight. And you know, I think he's showing that in 24 minutes. You know, 28 and 10. Uh, that ain't bad. When he plays like this, obviously it's not going to be every single night. But when he does, what does that do for you guys? Uh, I mean, it just gives us, you know, another weapon. Um, you know, he, he just there's so many things that he can do, and he's just so dynamic. It just makes defenses have to make really difficult decisions. Uh, you got choices to make. You know what I mean? When a guy's rolling like that, when the guy, you know, now do you go double him? You know, and he's an elite playmaker. Um, you let him one on one. You know, he gets the job done. So, uh, just you know, an extra weapon. Um, but I thought he was dominant tonight.